Hey guys, this is Diane here from Design Creative and today I'm going to show you a really neat trick that you can do with the content block to display content however you want it. That's right, I mean I know you can already do that already but this trick hopefully you don't know. So I'm going to show you how to separate elements from your content and place them wherever you want want okay it sounds a bit tricky never mind I'm gonna show you right now okay so here I have a fresh installation of WordPress I have one page and one post now if you have a look at the home page let's visit the site I have a general uh, default look for headway so I have my logo up here I have my menu bar here and I have my content now when you click on hello world it brings you to the content page and as you could see it has the content here it has the comments box here and it all looks pretty much generic right well we can change how this looks by simply being really smart about how we use our content block so let's have a look at the back of headway and see how this is set up if we have a look back here uh, let me go into the blog index and you can see I have the default uh, layout here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete um, actually I'm not going to delete anything let me um, do, 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 do. let me go over to the single page and press edit and I'm going to clone the layout of my blog index here okay so let's press save and see what we have so of course we have the comments box we have everything here but what I want to do is I want to really get in there and customize everything so what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna get rid of the header block and I'm gonna get rid of the menu and I'm gonna get rid of the foot up because I don't really want to concentrate on any of those right now I just want to concentrate on the um, content okay so how we can manipulate things is um, by creating multiple content blocks and getting these different content blocks to, dis to display different things um, <clears throat> in different areas. So for instance, I'm going to create a content block here and I'm going to keep the query mode on default. And where it says display, I'm going to make sure it shows the title, it shows the archive title, but I don't want it to show read more and I don't want it to show any content. So I'm going to click here to display hide content. I don't want it to show the comments section, so I'm going to hide that. And I don't want it to show the navigation when there's more than one post. If I go down to meta, as you can see from the original we have the meta which is above and we have the meta which is below so I'm going to get rid of that by just clicking on the meta above and below and deleting the content from there and with the featured image I'm going to get rid of that featured image as well so I'm going to press save and if we go over to here and refresh what you should do what you should find is that you now have a block that only has the title in it you're probably thinking well what good is that gonna be well <clears throat> the thing is when you start adding more and more content blocks you can have them be separate things so if I add another content block here for instance actually let me delete this one I'm just gonna name this one title okay I can now duplicate this block let's move this down here open up this block one and I'm going to change this I'm going to copy this and say this is going to be content so if I go to display I'm not going to make it show the title I'm going to make it show the normal content and I'm going to keep everything else the same I'm going to change this I think I've already done that to content it's overlapping so it won't save let's go to there and let's press save okay so now let me refresh and now we have a block what only has our content in 
let me go and create another block I'm gonna delete the previous the first block and the first widget let me create another block here press content actually nope do you know what let me do the easy way let me delete this one and just to look duplicate what I've already got so that I don't have to keep going through the options and I'm going to call this one image okay let me open up this block here and I'm not going to let it display the title I'm not going to let it display any content but I want it to display the featured image I want it above the title or it could be above the content it doesn't really matter I'm going to make sure that this is at 100% okay I'm going to press save if I come here and refresh now I'm going to have my title, I'm going to have my content, I'm going to have the image right at the bottom. Right, what else can we do? Let's um, break this down even further. Let's create another block, duplicate block, that shows only the comments. So I'm going to set block alias, I'm going to call this comments, and I'm going to open up the block. And again, don't show the content, don't show that. Get rid of the featured image, but I want it to display the comment section. So always show comments. Let's press save. You can see what I'm doing here, right? So now I've got my comments box at the bottom here. What about if we want to add our meta? So again, let me duplicate this block and I'm going to separate it so we have metal which is above and metal which is below so let me just actually delete this block because I did delete out the metal in the other ones as well I'm gonna press content and display don't show any titles don't show any navigation hide the comments hide the content hide the featured image but the meta where it says below content I'm going to delete that actually I'm going to copy that and delete it and I'm going to keep the meta above the content there so let me set the block alias and I'm going to say meta above content I'm going to press save and refresh and I've got the meta there so let me duplicate this block move this one down a bit set block alias meta below let's open that and in the meta section we want to delete this and paste that there okay so now we have all of the elements of our blog in separate sections which just makes it even more exciting because now we can place them wherever we want we can have them as wide as we want we can have them displaying however we want basically so let's get the title and let's shrink this title down let's shrink this content down let's move this image maybe up here let's move the meta above the content maybe under the image um, let's put this section this meta actually let's swap it over let's put the meta which is below the content under the image and a meta above the content actually under the title and our comments block we can move that as well under the image so let's press save and refresh and now obviously things are not laid out properly so let's go back into our editor and just make sure that we lay out the blocks correctly so they're all in the right columns hopefully that would sort out the spacing issue so as you can see we have changed um, 
the look of our site just by duplicating or mimicking or manipulating the blocks um, to display whatever we want them to display. So have a go at it, see what you come up with and post your results in the comments box so that I can see what exciting and fun layouts you've created with your own site. Thank you.